The London Ministry of Defence said in its latest intelligence update, on 30-31 August 2022, the Ukrainian armed forces continued offensive operations in southern Ukraine, supported by intense long-range attacks against Russian command and logistics points in the occupied area. Russia prioritizes strong ground-based air defenses, the radar coverage that enables it is a critical capability in the Ukraine operation. A substantial, sustained degradation of Russia's radars with harms would be a major setback to Russia's already troubled situational awareness. Britain, the US, Ukraine and their allies are fighting an information war against Russia so briefings need to be treated with caution, although claims by the Kremlin are often far less believable. Ukraine's Operational Command South said its forces had destroyed a pontoon bridge near the town of Daryevki in the Kherson region, which had been used by the Russian troops to bring in equipment and ammunition. Both sides have claimed battlefield successes amid the fresh Ukrainian push to recapture territory in the south. It is a very slow process, because we value people, said Alexei Arestovich, an advisor to President Volodymyr Zelensky, referring to the Ukrainian offensive. There will be no quick success. Russia captured large tracts of southern Ukraine close to the Black Sea coast in the early weeks of the over six-month-old war, including in the Kherson region, north of the Russian annexed Crimean Peninsula. Elsewhere, Ukraine repelled Russian attacks in the direction of Bakhmut and Avdiivka, towns north of the Russian-occupied city of Donetsk, its armed forces general staff said. Ukrainian assault troops were spotted by Russian forces near the nuclear plant and are now pinned down by Russian Air Force, Vladimir Rogov, a local Russian-installed official, said on Thursday. Russia's defense ministry also claimed there had been an attack on the nuclear plant by up to 60 Ukrainian soldiers. The Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, Europe's largest, was captured by Russian forces in March. It remains near the front lines and has come under repeated shelling in recent weeks, raising fears of a nuclear disaster.